Hey everybody, it's Jessica DeMassa with What's the Future Health. Today we have a special guest from the bleeding edge of healthcare here to tell us all about a brand new conference he's started. Please welcome Mark Hodash. He is actually, you may remember him as the founder, creator, former owner of TedMed. And now, like I said, he is back co-creator and co-host of a new conference called Life Itself with Dr. Sanjay Gupta. So Mark, this is exciting news. Good to have you here. It is. It's exciting to be here. Thanks, Jessica. This is fun. All right. This is going to be great because um, most of the time my audience, which is mostly like a health IT, a disruptive kind of digital health audience, we're kind of myopic in the sense that we are looking mostly at like the IT infrastructure of things or maybe virtual care and things like that. But you're looking at healthcare innovation in a very different way with life itself. And so I want to talk through that. And one of the things that's really exciting to me is you're a longevity expert. You're one of those guys who's really into all this stuff um, for making our lives long and healthier as we age. And so there's definitely that slant in this conference that you've managed to kind of weave into the agenda and weave into the topics and themes that are going to be discussed. Mm -hmm. So let's walk through some of this. So tell me a little bit about life itself and some of the big ideas that are going to be explored at this conference. Sure. Well, for sure, you know, life, uh, longevity is a big topic and we can get into that. Um, and will definitely be one of our 10 sessions and a perhaps a little bit of a focus throughout in some different ways, but, but it's one out of 10 because we want to cover all areas of health. It's ultimately is about um, the multidisciplinary leaders that all come together from many different areas, from tech, from business, from government and research to entertainment, but they all have a connection to health and medicine. And that cross pollination of ideas is where I come from when I started TedMed to where sort of Sanjay and I want to continue and take that forward by bringing together a really unique community of people that can share these ideas, unveil these ideas, celebrate these ideas and each other in different ways, and ultimately inspire the public in, 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 in a lot of ways to, to um, you know, follow some of these uh, you know, uh, challenges. So yeah, it's really about a mixture of ideas. This is really cool. And it's like, you guys are hosting this at the Hotel Dell, which is on Coronado Island, San Diego, California. It's at the Wait. end of September, September 28th to October 1st, for those who might be keeping track and want to take a look. Um, the thing about it that I love the most is that this is like retreat style. So intimate setting. And then the speakers that you have on your lineup, when you talk about multidisciplinary, you are not joking. We have the you know cream of the crop from healthcare, Rochelle Walensky, the director of the CDC, Dr. Fauci's in there, Ellen Latvin, the president of CBS, Caremark is in there. And then you've got like some celebrities like Goldie Hawn is on the agenda. Uh, Norman Lear is on the agenda, Penn from Penn and Teller. And then there's a number of different leaders from different companies um, and different um, entertainment organizations. And I mean, literally it is everybody and Elon Musk's brother. Yeah, Kimball Musk. Uh, who's like pioneering new ways of, of eating and, and food. So talk to me about, you know, these people that you're bringing together and some of the deliberate decisions that were made to include these specific types of categories of leaders in, in the programming for life itself. Sure. And as you mentioned, the Dell is such a great iconic place for so many historic reasons. And it's actually where I started Ted Med many years ago and really just wanted to create an environment where you get to truly cross paths with all these people throughout the day. And um, uh, so anyhow, it's a, it's a great home and hub for just excellent health uh, gatherings, as you know. And so um, we're going back to the Dell with all of these people who don't just come to give a talk and leave. What we really want is for our participants, speakers, and especially attendees, but our speakers are there for almost the whole time to really be able to spend time and, um, and, and get to meet each other. So yes, to your point, the diversity of speakers you might have um, someone like, you know, inventor Dean Kamen, who's, you know, people know him as the inventor of the Segway, but most all his inventions are amazing medical inventions. And I could talk for hours uh, about Dean, who's been a big inspiration and mentor and friend in my life to, you know, oh gosh, you know, uh, Dr. Fauci and, and Dr. Walensky, you know, clearly two leaders of the past year um, and uh, who, who um, you know, have plenty for us to talk about on our session in the pandemic to, you know, people you wouldn't expect, um, you know, in our session on aging, of course, we've got Art Levinson, who's uh, the chairman of Apple, but as you might also know, the CEO of Calico, who is spending his days trying to focus on the cure to aging. But how great would it be to have 99 year old Norman Lear, the Hollywood legend, talking about aging from the human perspective. So 
each session um, tries to look at a topic from many different angles. And so people might say, why is Goldie Hawn or magician Pendulette speaking at like the premier health event we're putting together? And the reason is, you know, Pendulette may talk about confirmation bias through the form of a magic trick. So how can you add a little um, entertainment, but through a really important and serious topic and get people to see that topic differently. So we just have, you know, it's a single track. We don't have breakouts. Everybody has the same experience and it's not a huge group. So we really get time to, to know these people, but you'll have heavy, heavy scientific content followed by something afterwards that might be a little entertainment, you know, or well-known musician simply playing a, a song or something that's shared in an entertaining way, but around a topic um, that's important to them and to us. And so I can go on and on about all the different kinds of characters and people, but you'll have, um, everybody does have something important to share or unveil as it relates to health. I wanna hear about some of these topics. You said there are 10 different topics. I don't have to hear about all of them, maybe some of your favorites, but it's like, coming from you who, I mean, I still watch old TED Med videos. Like you guys just have such a way of, of curating your content and bringing up issues and looking at them with like a slightly new slant or in a very unique way. And I love what you said about, you know, Norman Lear on aging. That's a perfect example. What else is going to be explored? Give us like a, a little sense of some of these topics. So, boy, there's so much. I mean, because that's my days now are just built trying to choreograph this whole, this whole program. Um, and yes, you know, some of the best TED talks are the TED Med ones because everybody can relate to health and medicine in some way. It affects all of us. But we, we try to find those, those unique angles to, to push either a, an obstacle forward or top, talk about a topic differently. And by the way, just to mention, just like Ted carries those around the world so that everybody who can't be there can be a part of it. We have that same thing with life itself. Um, CNN is going to carry all of the life itself talks that Sanjay and I are hosting um, you know, around the world um, or, or you know, those that they, they, they choose. But I believe you'll see most of them out there because they're all going to be really powerful. So you know, what are you going to hear? Um, you know... Kazmikia Corbett, I, I have to mention her. She is uh, led vaccine research under Dr. Fauci for the NIH, helped us get the Moderna vaccine to where we have, has a remarkable story um, about um, how she got to where she is and, 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 and the progress they did to, to accomplish it. So she's gonna share that in a, in a way that I think nobody's heard. And I don't wanna reveal the, the method we're doing that, but uh, I'll just say, you'll see someone on stage with her who is one of the cu most curious people in the world um, interacting with her in a way that I think is, uh, is just gonna be a lot of fun. And then, you know, you might see, um, you know, as we're doing a session on, on Alzheimer's and the brain and dementia, you might hear just a very personal talk from the wife of Robin Williams, uh, Susan Williams, right? Who can tell a story from a very unique perspective about Robin um, ultimately suffering from a disease called Lewy body uh, dementia that he didn't even know he had, that they didn't realize was actually the issue until afterwards and there was an autopsy, but she has since been doing a huge amount of research to understand this field and, and why, you know, how many more people actually have this um, issue without it being properly diagnosed. So we will tie that into a session on, you know, with, with world expert Rudy Tanzi on Alzheimer's or, you know, things of that sort. So, um, you know, we've got um, one of our really fun sessions. And again, I can't give away the uh, groundbreaking news that's going to happen um, at this sort of moment. We've got a woman who's going to grow a particular complex human organ for the very first time in history and have it on stage functioning um, uh, in a full version of this organ. So um, that's going to be really remarkable and important. Wow. Yeah. In, in, the, in the ballroom at the Hotel Dell, we're growing an organ on stage. Okay, that sounds that, that right. They are going to grow it ahead of time, but then have it <laughs> unveiled there, but just ahead of time. And they will also show you how they actually do it by bringing the machinery on stage and showing you so, sort of like a cooking show. Here's how we make it. And then out of the oven comes the finished product. So, oh my um, goodness, that's crazy. Yeah. That's going to be really cool. So I love this because I think like, I mean, this is, I mean, for somebody like myself, who's like a total health innovation geek, I mean, I mean, geek, like, you know, all the health plan benefits, design innovation, all the way to this really cool stuff. Like you're making a new organ. Like I love it all, but it's like, I do feel like, and I would love if you can speak to this maybe a little bit, Mark, like, you know, no matter where you're at in healthcare, you know, why is it important to sometimes shake it up and get out of 
of get out of where you're at in terms yeah. of like your little myopic part of the industry. I mean, we always, you know, we joke around and it's not really a joke, but healthcare is so siloed. I mean, why is something like this where it does have a little bit more of that multidisciplinary approach, some of the, the, the innovations that are really bleeding edge that might not be incorporated into the traditional healthcare system for another like 15 to 20 years, some of that far out stuff. Why is that just as important? And even stories too, like you were talking about Robin Williams and his wife, you know, why are some of these personal stories? Why is this mix looking at healthcare, the industry that we're all in so important to helping us grow professionally, right. um, particularly as we try to do tough, you know, innovation or disruption type jobs. Well, your point that healthcare has typically been very siloed, you know, even before I started TedMed, there wasn't really any multidisciplinary health conference. You know, it was very cardiovascular conference, cancer conference, brain conference. You didn't have people mixing. And now you have some more of that, which is really great. Um, but what we want to take it back to is sort of, you know, was it Margaret Mead that said, you know, the only thing that's changed the world is like a small group of people. I'm not saying that quote the right way, no, but I know what you mean. The, I, I got the paraphrase. It's <laughs> actually really important. So what we want to do is to get you to think out of the box. You need to be with people outside your box. And so that's why you have an astronaut sitting at a table with a scientist, right? And um, because a lot of these things, you know, cross. Atul Gawande spoke about it many years ago with the checklist, which came from aviation and has saved lives in the operating room. But there are lessons to be learned in many, many different ways when you start mixing these people. And I will tell you stories and you'll see them come out of this event where new companies form, new partnerships, new discoveries, um, and just a different sort of energy and excitement as these people start to work with each other in different ways. So it's a very unique way to connect with people that you might not realize can truly help your, you know, your goals. And, and so that's I'm excited about this. And I want to hear too a little bit about some of the other, you had mentioned, you know, we, we were talking about the Dell. And for those who are not familiar with the Hotel Dell, this is like the iconic Hotel Del Coronado on Coronado Island. Some like it hot was filmed there. And it's magical. It's a magical place um, for an event like this. And it's very intimate. And there is an opportunity for people to run into not only other speakers, and, but uh, you know, attendees. And then typically, we often see with conferences, you know, some events that are designed to help kind of facilitate that cross pollination of ideas and those serendipitous meetings and the networking. So what do you got on tap at life itself as far as the networking side of this goes so that people can meet some of these amazing speakers and some of the other yeah. really cool attendees that'll be there? Yeah, so of course we have our sessions and those sessions are these very sort of intense, uh, you know, roughly hour and a half, uh, you know, talks. Um, but they're the kind that you want to be in the room to hear. And by the way, our speakers are in the room as attendees. And when before they give their talk, they're coming from the audience, not backstage. They're right there with you. But then we have these very lengthy breaks, networking breaks that are, you know, we have, aside from the breakfasts and the dinners, it's an hour break in the morning, an hour in the afternoon. We do not cut into that time because people want to network. And we have a long lunch as well. And so in the gorgeous crown room, if you remember the Hotel Dell, there's this gorgeous, gorgeous um, wooden room with these crown hanging chandeliers. We have um, designed furniture layouts that really foster communication so that when you sit down, you're going to be facing somebody else who sits across from you. And we have multiple areas where we do this. But then we also create these little uh, activations, exhibit areas with our partners, great companies that have a lot to show. And they're all interactive, whether it's Microsoft or CVS Health or Walmart, you know, uh, Medtronic. I mean, I, I, I don't want to leave anybody out, but there's a whole bunch. And they're all going to do um, something really cool and unique um, with our, our, our attendees so that you can um, you know, share that experience with the person next to you. Um, and then again, I don't wanna give away surprises, but we do a great beach party um, where we really work very closely with the chef to prepare some very unique uh, and healthy, by the way, we don't hey. forget to <laughs> food um, into that. But it really, the whole event from Tuesday evening through Friday, noon, um, there is something to do. So. Awesome. I want to ask, um, you mentioned some of your partners, and um, if anybody's curious to see who else is involved, and also check out that speaker lineup, the website is lifeitself.health. But I wanted to ask about CNN. So you said a little bit earlier, you know, CNN involved, obviously, I mean, that's coming from the relationship you have with your co-founder, co-host, uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta. But say a little bit more about that partnership and like how CNN is supporting this. I mean, I'm excited to hear that they might pick up some of this content, make it available to those who, who can't get there live and in person. But what else? Talk, talk a little bit yeah, more well, about first that. First of all, let me just say I am I feel grateful that uh, I get to work with Sanjay. He has been an incredible partner and uh, a wonderful friend. And, you know, he came to TED Med and spoke and there was a 
just an amazing story just about actually his participation at TED Med. You know, I'll, I'll tell you very briefly, he, yeah. he gave a great talk the first year and the second year he was supposed to be there and the Haitian earthquake happened, a horrible tragedy where he was covering it from Haiti. So we streamed him in live um, and through satellite and we had on stage while Sanjay was telling us what was going on, we had the head of FEMA at, like, at TED Med at the time talking to Sanjay from Haiti. So whatever it is, he's, he's there and he has so much experience communicating health to the public and clearly, as you saw through this past year, has done that really, really well. When Sanjay and I planned this you know, a few years ago before the pandemic and started working together and saw the need to do something kind of unique and creative again in, in this space. And so um, we partnered and we um, CNN heard what we were doing and decided they wanted to uh, you know, be a, a major partner with us. So they've come on board to really carry the content around the world because not everybody can come to the event in person. Um, we want it to be accessible. So CNN um, will do that. They'll carry our talks around the world. They'll also cover a lot of news throughout the week that's, that's breaking. And um, you know they are sending a, an incredible delegation of um, their top leadership uh, on down. And of course, Sanjay is hosting the event with me. So we're both on stage the whole time. And um, he has just committed so much time despite him doing brain surgery every week and covering the news on CNN or hosting Jeopardy. He has been incredible to still dedicate um, uh, and make this a real priority. And so we're, we want ultimately this event to have impact and be very meaningful. And I think we share that goal. That's, that's all we're trying to do. That's awesome. And you've got such a track record yourself for having accomplished this previously with Ted Med. So I'm, I'm sure you guys will do phenomenal in this first event. Um, how can people find out more? Um, so I mentioned the website, lifeitself.health. Registration up there is it limited, Mark? Like I mean, the Dell is kind of tiny, so I'm imagining yeah. that there might be some some capacity limitations here. So are we selling yeah, out? We definitely cap. We definitely cap it at no more than you know 500 or so people, and we are not far off. So if people want to come, um, they should they should register, and we do kind of curate the audience to make sure it's a really strong group. So we review the registrations. Um, but you know, I think the people listening to your show are all clear, uh, clearly vested and interested in contributing to the world of health. Um, but yeah, go to lifeitself.health and, um, and, and just, you know, very simple form, try to make it easy and um, get involved. And I think this is our inaugural event. So we're putting everything into it, but this will be a, you know, hopefully a repeated continuous event year after year. Yeah, we're very excited, Mark. Thank you so much for stopping by and for giving us a sneak peek at what you're going to be covering. Um, tease us with one last thing before we go. Uh, who are you most excited to see speak? You know, as we started off in the beginning, I just want to say the topic of aging and longevity is very personally uh, an area that I focused on over the last decade. So I am very excited to see some of the speakers on that topic, even though it's something I know well. One of the things that I think is so important for the world is to recognize aging as a disease and to start, you know, again, having the greater public look at it in that light. Um, it's not about the definition. It's about why do we just accept that aging uh, you know, deteriorates the human body and causes the frailty and the inability to take care of yourself and the diseases associated with it from cardiovascular disease to cancers to osteoporosis and dementia. It's just so horrible to me that if there was one thing, and I think all of the topics that are important, but there was one thing that I said, you know, we accomplished is to help further that um, uh, conversation. And so, um, but there's just so many things. I mean, I don't want a single session where you're just not wowed. Um, but that that's certainly one area that I'm personally uh, you know, passionate about. And Sanjay's got some of his own interests as well. That's awesome, Mark. We are so excited. I love to see how passionate you are. And it's like, it, it, this is so funny too, watching you talk about the different speakers that you're bringing to the table, the agenda that you're curating, because it's like, all my children are my favorite. Like, it's like that kind of a, a, a that kind of an approach here. I love it. It's like, I can't so many. We have 50, we have 50 speakers. And again, I don't, I don't, I don't even want this to sound pitchy. It's like some of the stories, like I, I, I want there's so many, I'm like just thinking in my head, you know, amazing friends who have gone through so many different experiences who don't come from healthcare, like DA Wallach, way too people here, um, you know, what he's going to share to, you know, the, the whole wellness space, which is, you know, a different topic to try and make um, exciting in a way, right? I think we have a way to do that with some really incredible combinations. And, and ultimately, even to the very last session where you just want people to stay all the way through the end, um, we anchor it in a way that um, you're really looking towards the future. So 
bottom line, I'm excited. We've put a lot of work into it and coming out of this particular year where I think people are eager to get together again. Um, we've got the right topic. Obviously, uh, Sanjay and, and CNN have been incredible to work with, but ultimately um, we want the community to um, help us make that as impactful as possible. All right, Health Check. You've you've heard it. You've heard it here from Mark Hodash uh, about his brand new conference, Life Itself, and why you should attend. I mean, this is and you'll be there, so I'm happy about that. I know. I'm super excited to join this. I'm like, I love these opportunities to kind of move away from the typical conversation and just see what else is out there that's bigger. Because I often feel like I get the opportunity then to bring things back and integrate it in. So it's like you get a little crystal ball glimpse of what's coming down the pike. You maybe get a different perspective from somebody you didn't realize just get completely recharged recharged in terms of creativity and, and tackling some of these problems that it feels like might never go away in healthcare. It's nice to have that moment of just like, oh, wait, there's hope. <laughs> So, Mark, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thanks um, for having me. One more time, go through the details for anybody who's really interested in checking this out. The website is lifeitself.health, and this is happening September 28th through October. Very soon. Yeah. Yeah. September it's like right around the corner. Um, um, at the, in San Diego at the Dell. Yeah. At the Dell on Coronado Island. Beautiful. Can't wait. Cannot wait to see you and cannot wait to see this lineup unfold before my very eyes. All right, Mark, we'll talk to you soon. Um, again, thank you for joining us. Mark Hodash, he is the co-founder and co-host of Life Itself, this brand new conference that is going to be changing the way that we think about healthcare from here on out and the conversations we're having about it that he's hosting with his co-founder and co-host, Sanjay Gupta from CNN. All right, we will talk to you soon, Mark. We'll check in with you. I mean, hey, I might report live from the conference. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica DeMassa with What's the Future Health. For more from those who are changing the way that we do healthcare, please check out my YouTube channel that is over at youtube.com slash WTF Health. Mark, thanks again. Thank you.